Transit. Thank you. The Honourable Member for South Surrey White Rock. Mr. Speaker, last week the Minister of Global Affairs told CTV that, quote, Canada is not a nuclear power, it's not a military power, we're a middle sized power, and what we're good at is convening and making sure that diplomacy is happening. And in so doing, insulted every Canadian who has gone to war for this country or put on its uniform. It is not the men and women of the Canadian Armed Forces that are not ready to do their job. Job. It's this minister and this government that are incapable of doing theirs. Will the minister apologize to this country's veterans? Here, here. The, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I want to be very clear about this. Every single member on this side of the House not only supports the men and women in uniform today, but those who were in the men in, in uniform yesterday. And while, while we are not a superpower, let me tell you what we do do. Our, our, our men and women in uniform have supported the people of Afghanistan. We've supported the people of Syria. And most recently, we have been on the ground and supported the troops in Ukraine with, tra with, with training that has trained 30,000 uh, military personnel. We will continue to be there, and that's what Canada does well. The Honourable Member for South Surrey White Rock. Mr. Speaker, 11 years after Afghanistan and 158 lives lost, the minister thinks we're conveners, not warriors. I have news for the minister, who should Take a look at our Canadian history. Yeah. The victors of Vimy Ridge, the Hundred Days, Juno Beach, Capion, and Op Medusa. Medusa deserve our admiration and our praise, but are forgotten by this government. Will the minister apologize for her hurtful remarks to the military, to veterans, and to the families of our fallen? Here, 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 here. here. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, let, let's talk even a little more recent history. The previous Conservative government dropped defence spending to the lowest level in 60 years. What this government... I, I don't have to yell or anything. I just, I just have to sit here and wait for it to get to a point where I can hear the member. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. I will repeat that. What the previous Conservative government did was drop defence spending to the lowest level in the last 60 years. What this government is doing is recommitting to the armed forces to ensure that they are appropriately equipped, that they will be engaged appropriately, and they will continue to represent Canada and Canadian interests. Order! I'm hearing lots of yelling from the back row. You don't have to yell quite as loud to be heard in this chamber. So I'm just looking over, saying, keep, calm it down, calm it down. All right. Thank you. 